Hey guys, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the island map. And as you guys see, I have all these things around me because there's an update. Alright, guys, here's the story. So, about like a week ago, the new update. No new update seven five three came out for Xbox with this seagull, a horse, a dinosaur, and a fish. So and uh, but uh, here's what I wanted to do. So I was actually gonna wait for I wanna do like a a video where with two updates, not just one. So I actually waited for these two then this one just came up pretty early and I have all the creatures here but today I'm just gonna show you guys all the creatures I'm just gonna read you the patch notes like tell a kibble how to tame and what these things do and yeah but one more thing to note that tech tier was added but I cannot spawn that in I've tried so many times, and I cannot spawn it in. And also, I have hair. They have added, they have added hair to the game for the characters. Yes. So I've been waiting just so I can do this. I'm a bit late, but yeah. Also, there's also one creature I couldn't spawn in. I did the right command. It was the unicorn. I couldn't spawn it in. But I'm probably gonna do an update video on it. Well, not update video, just. You know, tame it. But now, let's just get into the thing. But tech tier will be showcased probably when I'm done with the bosses. And showcase all that. But right now, let's just get on to the patch notes. Let's get on to the patch notes. To the patch notes. All right, seven five zero, seven five zero. It added everything from PC update patch two five four. It's basically the Baryonyx, a sheep, Prolovia, and the Basilosaurus. And also added the new mechanic hairstyles, facial hair. And also they added scissors. They added tech tier phase one. You know all that. And the lance. Yes, a lance for jousting. That's pretty much it. And then for 751, it added everything from PC update 255, which is the Thytocolio, which is right there. The Microraptor, which is right there. And two new sea creatures, the Electrophorus and the Ammonite. So a new tech tier, additional hairstyles, 30 new explorer notes. Uh, yep. That's uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And seven five three, skip to seven five two, because that was basically just bug fixes for this. But seven five three is pretty much the biggest update for Xbox ever. So I added the new event, excellent adventure, pretty much just an Easter event. And there's the new mechanic, aquatic and amphibious creature breeding, so now you can breed aquatic creatures. There's the equius, it's the horse. The lygdices, which is a giant fish. The ichthyornis, which is a seagull, which you just saw. The iguanodon, which is a dino. And then they added tech underwater bases, tech teleporter, tech mosaic saddle, and tech power generator. And also they added a total inventory menu redesign. But one of the things that was most disappointing in the update is flyer nerf. They added a flyer nerf, which is now means you can't pump speed on flyers. So now they're incredibly slow. And also, all rideable flyers have ground attacks. And they added new creature sounds for dodos, raptors, quetzals, parasaurs, rex, trike, pteranodon, dillo, direwolf, compi, dung beetle, argent, pachy, and mammoth with new 
sounds for female and male, dinos, inventory sounds, building sounds, crafting sounds, and some items and weapons. Sheep now have a slaughter option when you have a club, sword, hatchet equipped, new hairstyles, 20 new explorer notes, something, and there's just tons of stuff about, you know, some things. And also, a big thing was that the maturation bar, egg incubation bar, and taming bar now also displays the numeral. So basically, if it says, when there's a baby that's maturing, it says the percent that's at. And also now, certain creatures have a special weight reduction for specific resources similar to the beaver. Mammoth reduced weight of wood by 75%, and kilos reduced weight of raw metal by 75%. Dodix reduced weight of stone by 75%, and beavers and thorny dragons now adjusted to 50% reduction for resource weights. So basically, that's pretty much it for all the new stuff that came out on the update. You know, patch notes, but you guys can check all the patch notes for yourself on the ARC wiki or whatever. But now let's get right into the video. So first we're going to start with 7 with patch Xbox patch update 750. So first up is the Avis. So the Avis is basically a sheep. But what this thing does, so it's rideable. You know. Majestic sheeps. It's it's actually really majestic. Look. Majestic. Yes. So these things are rideable. And the way to tame them is they're a passive tame, but when no it doesn't matter what level it is. It takes only one sweet vegetable cake, but a female has no horns, a male have no, and have horns. They only have one attack, this, and a jump. That's pretty much it. But the Elvis was actually a really big addition because they're really, really rare, and that's the reason because they drop a new resource called Mutton. Yes, it's even better than Primate for taming. It's not as good as kibble, but it takes a shorter amount of time than kibble, so if you want to tame something quicker, use mutton. But these things are incredibly rare, so beware. But I think these things are adorable. Yes. Adorable. Also, you can also do something with them with scissors, and they give you wool, which is apparently just pelt. Just, yeah, it's just pelt. You can use it to make fur armor and stuff. But mutton can be cooked to make cooked lamb chops, which is a new food source. But yeah, raw mutton. I think next up we'll do a perlovia. But that's pretty much the only thing to do with the ovus. But but the perlovia. Perlovia looks like I mean saber tooth, but it's more fluffy. Perlovia is basically mostly used for PvP because it can bury itself underground. It can bury itself underground, found in the redwoods. You can knock them out, that's the way to tame them. And they take moss chops kibble, so you get those moss chops eggs. But basically, the perlovia is used for ambushing. So if people are on a raid, just place perlovia all around. Then they jump at you. And then they stun, and then they stun you, then they kill you. In the wild, these guys are dangerous because they can stun you and your dino. And then you will get destroyed. Basically, that's the Prolovia. Just that. And then we head off to the only aquatic creature that was added in this update. And, well, with the Baryonyx, Prolovia, and Ovis was the Basilosaurus. Yes, the basil the sea sausage. So they added a sea sausage into the ocean. It has one attack. It has one attack. And these guys can find anywhere in the ocean. They're a passive tame, and they take... There was Enosaurus Kibble. And basically, they're a giant sea sausage. Yeah. Also, these guys can jump out of the water. I just don't know how. Kyo! Damn it. So, they basically, when these guys jump, they make a rainbow. But, as you guys see in the. is They give insulation. These guys are actually pretty quick. But the way to tame them, there's a source of kibble. But one thing to note that when you find them, they're surrounded by mantas. Because when they eat, they're messy eaters. 
when they eat something, there's scraps of food everywhere. Scraps everywhere, so yeah. And then you have to kill the mantas and then tame. But when you kill these guys, they drop tons of oil and prime meat. But I think the Pizzlosaurus is pretty cool. And one more thing, don't take these guys to deep waters, because then they'll start to die. They can't handle the deep water pressure in there. The final creature is the Baryonyx, probably the best creature in the in this update. So, so the Baryonyx is basically semi-aquatic. It can be in both land and water. Oh God! Yo! Kyo! Kyo! Die! Kyo! Don't touch my sheep. You can have. You can't have the mutton. No! Damn you. How are you not dead? No, don't ruin this! Damn it. Alright, so. Baryonyx is technically a semi aquatic creature, both on land and water. They're pretty fast, they have a good turning radius. But it's do the same thing. You not these guys can find them swamps or rivers and stuff. You can tame them with fish meat, raw prime fish meat, or packy rhino kibble. Just knock them out. Because they only eat fish meat. But I just want to show you guys something. Is there fish meat in here? No. So, if I damage this guy. Yeah. Yo! In the butthole. Yeah. 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 So. Hold why they have this. Don't seek fish at low health. Seek fish at low health. So basically, these guys can only eat fish meat. Which means that they can't eat raw meat. So, these also guys are pretty okay swimmers. So, they have a, on land, they have a RT attack. And LT is this. It can only be used in the water. It stuns things. Let's see. Let's try it on this ichthy. So basically, when it has fish meat in its inventory, it can heal much faster. It can heal very, very fast. Nyeh! Kill it. Yes. Guys, look at its health. Oh, it's at full. Never mind. So, yeah, but basically these guys just heal very fast. Stuff. But we can try the stun attack on this Ichthy. Ichthy. Nyeh. See, it is stunned, so now you can kill stuff. You can stun megalodons, uh, yeah, you can stun megalodons, and you can stun other creatures, but you can't stun, before, you can stun jellyfish, but you can't anymore, because it's too overpowered, for some odd reason. Jellyfish are terrible. That's basically the Baryonyx. You know, it's one of the cooler creatures in this update. Nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah, and also it has a roar. If you press R S as a roar. But yeah. So now let's go on to the other creatures. Patch a PC patch update two five five, which is seven five one for Xbox. So first up is the non tameable animite animite. So these things can be found in the bottom of the oceans or primarily in underwater caves. And these things are not tameable, they're just to get killed. Because when these guys killed, you get Anamite Bile. And also this happens. If you get too close to them or or they, you attack them, they squirt out this. And for some reason I can ride it. Um. Okay. This is weird. Uh, I don't know how... This is this wasn't in the game before. I don't know why you can ride it, but it looks weird. It looks like you're sitting on a chair. But basically, these things shoot out this green goop, which makes everything aggro to you in the area. So, but people kill this thing because of one thing. It's when you kill it, it drops ammonite bile, which can, then can be made into the new thing called pheromone darts, which when you shoot it out, everything will be aggroed at that thing. So. Oh my god, what is it now? Again! 
Die, go away. No one likes you. Not for these dillos around here. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you better run. Knock you out, boy. Alright. So, the next aquatic creature is also found in underwater caves or in the ocean. The non-rideable, tameable electrophorus. This thing is dangerous. So basically, it's an eel, but it's not actually an eel. It is actually, the dossier says, it's a very long knife fish. Basically, the electrophorus is, well, it shocks things. In the wild, if you get too close to it, it will shock you, stun you, and then you die. But these guys spawn in packs, so be ready. But these guys are probably one of, probably going to be another hard tame because these things eat biotoxin and they are passive tames. Probably these guys would be better in a pack. But basically, that's just, like, they can be used in PvP to shock people to death. But that's basically the Electrophorus. Next up we have the Microraptor. It's another PvP dino. You can be carried on your shoulder though. It's cool. Cool bruh. It looks cool. I like it. Oh my gosh, stop picking up stone. So the Microraptor. So let's try it out. Try it out on this and do Try it out farther away. The other dinos don't. So basically, oh god, throw it! Throw the damn thing. So basically, Microraptors. I didn't do it right, but Microraptor will glide at the creature, and then it will kill the. Well, actually, just. It will actually just, um, eh. So if you aim it at someone riding a dino, it will actually stun them and take them off the dino. And then, yeah. And then I'll take it off, then you have a chance to kill them. It's basically the use of Microraptor, but in a group, these guys can be deadly. And also, the, they are extremely fast. Damn it. So basically, that's the Microraptor. It died because it's a Microraptor. It does not have very much health. Time for this thing to die because I don't want any more devils around here. I think they're still after me. So let me get on to the next dino. It's, it's this thing. Tarakolio, probably the best creature in this whole update. Well, in the update that came out with the Microraptor. So basically, the Thetacolio is a marsupial cat thing. So, Thetacolio. So, I'll, I'll show you guys after I'm done. So, yeah. So, the Thetacolio has... Like, okay, okay. Let me see. So the Microraptor, I forgot to tell you, the Microraptor is a knockout tame and it takes rare flowers. Basically it. And then the Thetacolio is a knockout tame. It's found in the Redwoods, RS is a roar, and it takes Titan Boa Kibble. Or its second preferred fruit is Lamb Chops it's, instead of Raw Mutton. It's weird, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Just how it is, I don't know. So, that Acolio, it can jump really high. And it has RT, LT is nothing, RS is roar, and A is jump. But the cool thing about these guys is that they can climb stuff. So they can climb cliffs, primarily redwood trees. They're really fast, and they're, and they're really powerful. It's leveled up. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I just showed you it. Also, this guy takes reduced fall damage, so. But you just, like, double tap our whole day. Oh, I don't have enough stamina. So, yeah, Thetacolio can be used as for PvE or PvP. And, like, but 
in the redwood forest when you find them, they jump at you from nowhere. So, yeah. So here it is. So you can use RS to do this, which has an. You can actually jump and aim at targets. Then do something. And if you do LS down, it will slide down. But basically, we're gonna try doing this. So you press R D. Oh, it's too far away. All right, well, let's try this again. I want to show you guys this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, too late. No. All right, let's. Where's that Dillo? No. Oh my god. Dillo. Kyo. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but basically they can jump at targets, stun them, and then that's pretty much it. Better call you. It's actually a pretty cool dino. Definitely gonna tame one and show you guys a better look at it. And now it's time for the final thing, which are these. So first we'll start with the non tameable creature, which is the leg this these. So basically giant fish, they're pretty passive, but one thing you could do in the wild you scrap meat off them. It gives you raw prime fish meat or raw fish meat. You can wait 10 minutes each time. You can do the same thing with the alpha. You can actually do the same thing with the alpha as well. It's cool. So they added an alpha to this disease, but you can, if you attack them, I think they'll obviously aggro. But if you're riding a raft, they don't like rafts. So you, they don't like rafts. And they will destroy because these things are actually really powerful. They're not tameable. You can still ride them, even well, only when they're force tamed. Basically, these guys have tons of health. Tons. Like, yeah. But these guys have a s slow turning radius because they're large. So you, that's that could be your advantage, but. Don't now riding a raft in the ocean just got a lot more dangerous, especially now that there's well when you kill a Lidixis or an Alpha Lidixis, you get a new skin called the Captain's Hat. It's cool. Yeah. Probably I don't know if I'll ever kill one, probably with an army of Mosasaurus, but yeah, Lidixis, they're just a cool looking thing. But now next up is the Ichthyarnus. It's probably a creature I've been waiting for a long time. It's it's this is another creature that's been in the dev kit for a really long time. It's basically a seagull. It's another flyer. Go on your shoulder. That's cool. But one thing that's unique about this thing is that it has some options. So so if you see here, it says no hunt, hunt, and hunt and retrieve. So. Basically, in the dust here, it says that it can hunt stuff for you and bring them back. It's basically what hunt and retrieve means, but it has special vitamins and it just makes it healthy or something. But, this people may think that this might be a useless dino, but I think it has potential. Because Ichthyornis, so basically the Ichthyornis, it can actually be really useful. I'll show you guys, but the way to tame them, you, you should probably bowl of them, because if you shoot them, they like spawning groups and they can actually steal from you. They're the Pego Mass Stacks of the Skies. And then they actually steal food from you, then eat it. So basically, these guys are little gangsters. Savages, they just steal stuff. They just steal food and eat it. So, yeah. And, but probably the best way is to bowl of them, then shoot them, and then put uh, fish meat. So they like fish meat. They like fish meat, or raw prime fish meat, because if seagulls, they love fish. 
and their kibble and their kibble is uh, I think it's just fish meat probably need to check on that but I'll show you guys the hunt and retrieve if I can find something small so hunt is basically it just hunts something and picks it up in its mouth and eats it that's basically what hunt is but hunt and retrieve I'm gonna show you if I can find the dodo or something Hmm. Let's see, come on. Because they can only pick up small things. I mean, do you see how small they are? If I don't find something, I always show you in a taming video. Because there's going to be tons of new videos coming out with all these new creatures taming, breeding, and also with the new items. Basically, that's the Ichthyornis. I'll show you guys how retrieve. It's going to be awesome. But I'll just tell you what hunt retrieve means. So if it has like a Dodo or Lister, you do hunt to retrieve on it. It will kill it, and then it will bring it back to you. But when you harvest it, it will have a glowy effect. And... If it's like a fish, it'll give you raw prime fish meat. If it's a dodo, it'll give you prime meat. So, if you, if you guys want to tame something, the Ichthyornis is definitely a valuable creature in a tribe. But now for the last two ones. The Iguanodon, one of my personal favorite ones to release. But the Iguanodon is probably one of my most favorite creatures added all of all of these creatures. Probably the Equis and the Iguanodon. But basically, the Iguanodon... It is pretty unique. So the Iguanodon, it has two stances. As the quad stance is basically this, it can jump on four legs. But then if you press LT, it can stand up on two legs, but it can't jump. But it can attack with RT with its thumbs. Yes, its thumb spikes right there. It can attack. So I would definitely, this saddle is like level 15, but you just knock them out. Saddle's level 15, so pretty early. These guys harvest berries as well. Oh, look, they can gather rare flowers too. Said rare flowers. Well, in one of the bushes. So basically, yeah. These guys. Also, you guys just heard. That's actually a new Dillo sound. So. Yeah, these guys can be. I'll definitely choose this thing over the Parasaur. Because they can gather more berries. And also, they're way better. They also have a roar for some reason. They have a roar of press RS, basically just like a call. But on four legs, they have actually infinite stamina. Their stamina never goes down. But on two legs, it does go down. But on four legs, they have a okay turning radius. But on but on two legs, they have an excellent turning radius. But yeah, that's also yeah, it's pretty much the iguanodon. But another cool thing about it, if you hold Y, it says seed fruit in inventory. So, you see all these berries in here? Well, watch the magic happen. So, you press this. And then, if you go inside the inventory. It can turn everything into seeds. So, this guy can be pretty useful for early tribes. It can be used to harvest berries. Seeds much quicker. If you want tons of seeds, well, you got this guy. Definitely gonna have this guy because this guy's a very cool creature. But now for probably the most one exciting creatures in the update. But basically the unicorn and the equis are just the same thing. But these guys take Microraptor kibble. I forgot to tell you. All right, so with the equis, they're pretty unique. It's a horse. Yes, they can jump obviously, but these guys have a unique taming method. So you actually have to crouch to them. Make sure they don't see you, because then they'll run. Then you, like, feed them. So you either feed them rock carrots or their, or Trudon kibble. So, Trudon kibble. I can't wait to tame one of these guys. But RS is a neigh. So, you neigh. You can neigh on the horse. So the horse and Equius are just the same thing. And also, RT is a bite or a headbutt. It won't bite, it just keeps headbutting. Come on, bite! Yeah, there's the bite. So, yeah. So, you chew down kibble or rock carrots. Then you, like, press Y to feed them. Then you press Y. Then it'll say, uh, Equius is running wild. Press, then you press Y again. 
and then it'll soothe it, and then it just keeps running until you tame it. And that's basically how you tame it. It's very unique. It's pretty unique, but it's cool. No, it's cool. I really like it because a horse gallop to victory. Just like gallop to victory. But also the equis. But you can actually ride them without a saddle or with a saddle. But with the saddle, it's like a mortar and pistol. Comes with a new item that can only be used on the equius, which is the lasso. Da 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 da. I actually, it's really hard to control this thing. But basically, with the lasso, you can lasso things. You can lasso things. Are right, you ready? Come on. Let's go straight. Now turn. Now let's let's lasso this Bionia. Kyo. All right. Now if we move. So if you guys see, look at it. It's a lasso. The animation's a bit poor because it just slides and. But basically, that's the lasso. If I go, that's basically. You no, know, the equus is actually a really cool creature. Nay. So yes, you can nay for days. Also, they also added another new thing. Do 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 do. So, Equus is definitely one of the more funner creatures, and I can't wait for that. But, also they added something called third person view. Yes, you can do third person. Nothing that big, but yeah. But guys, sorry this video is turning a bit longer but than a normal showcase video, but I just want to show you guys all the creatures and all the information about them. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to slap that like button. And I'll see you guys back on the next ARC video. Bye, everybody.